Meanwhile, South Africa reported its highest daily tally of new coronavirus cases ever a few days after President Cyril Ramaphosa tested positive for the infection. South Africa was the first country to detect the new Omicron strain. Nearly 27,000 cases were reported in the country in the last 24 hours. As per South Africa's health body, 54 COVID-19 related deaths were recorded with an additional hospital admissions of nearly 620 people. More than 100 deaths were reported on the day of South Africa's previous highest COVID tally. Researchers in South Africa suggest Omicron is mainly causing mild infections locally, adding that such a scenario may be in connection with the high infection level of the previous strains. We saw very clearly that uh, the Delta variant was pushed out of the way by Omicron um, uh, in, the, in a matter of two weeks, and that's very quick. Um, so we're not sure what it is, is that Omicron is a better virus and can be transmitted better, or that people were um, letting their guards drop and uh, congregating together and spreading it within certain um, groupings. So, you know, that can occur as well. Last week, South Africa approved booster shots for its citizens. Only around 38% or one-third of the country's adult population are now fully vaccinated. South African government has started a drive to encourage vaccinations among the nearly 17 million population. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.